Hello, this is uh, Sir Brainwave with my Blender menu tutorial. This is basically going to be a, the first part of a tutorial on how to make a Blender menu. First off, we're going to just delete our default cube by pre having it selected and press X and delete. And shift A, add a text. A uh, text isn't mesh. So you can't shape it with the vertices but in edit mode, but when you go into the text edit mode, it is basically letters and you can type anything. I'm gonna write play just for this tutorial. And we're gonna zoom in into a bit. Um texts are useful for writing words, but uh, in this tutorial for the uses we need we're gonna make it into a mesh. So to do that, you have it selected, and press Alt, and then C, and mesh, turn into a mesh, which is the bottom one should be, uh, from a text. So now if you go into edit mode again, it's no longer the words. It is mesh vertices. Um, we're just going to, in edit mode, we're going to add, uh, press A to select everything, and shift S cursor to select it. That basically brings your cursor to the center of all those vertices and press shift A and add a plane. This plane is basically going to be the back of our play. So we're just going to size it down a bit. If you guys want to size it only on the Y like this or only on the X like this, then you can do S and then Y and it'll size only on the Y. And if you do S and X, it will only size it on the X. That also works for the Z but not with a plane. So we're going to size it down on the Y, however big you want it. Seems about right. And we're going to move it down a bit on the Z axis. Go back into top view or whatever view you were in. And right now, you can't really see anything. So we're going to make our word play and our box around it. We're going to make it a certain color. To do that, you go here and put a material, make it a new material, this is in the properties tab, make this material go into the diffuse, and make it red. Again, our play changes to the color red and the back changes to color red, so everything is still red. To change that, we're going to make the back of it a, col a blue, or, yeah, blue. So to do that, add another material here, so now we have two materials in the object, the second material we're going to make right here. It's going to be a blue material. The blue material isn't going on to... Well, the blue color isn't going on to the um, back plane yet. So, to do that, you just have it the, those selected, only those, and press Assign. Oh yeah, sorry, we have to move it down a bit. Yeah, that's why we couldn't see it. And if you go back into top view, you, know, you see that it says play and you can actually see the word. Okay, for this tutorial, we are going to um, be making it so that when you uh, put your mouse over it in the game engine, then it will get bigger. Just to show that you're like about to select it, but you haven't selected it yet. Uh, you can make it a different type of animation, like you can make it only go on the size on the X or only on the left or something, but for this tutorial, I will just be making it to size when I go over it. So, we're going to do that right now. Uh, first, make sure that you are in frame 1. You can check that by going down to the bottom over here, and if it's at a 1, then it's a frame 1. And to navigate through the frames, you press the side arrow keys, like like that, and it will go, you can see, from 0 and then up to 3. And then it can go as far as you want. And then use the up arrows and the down arrows to go up and down by 10. We're going to want it to be at 1 for now. And we're going to press, while it's selected, press I, and scaling. That enters the keyframe so it knows at frame 1, the, uh, the the object play is this big. 
So we're going to go to play, uh, frame 3 and size it up a bit and press I scaling. So now it knows that at frame 3 the, uh, the object is at this size. So if you go from 1 then it will go from the 1 size that you made to the two, 3 size. To make this play in the Blender game engine we're going to go here Add sensor, it's going to be a mouse sensor. Make this from left button to mouse over. And here, add an F curve. Let's change it from play to flipper. And our starting frame here is 1, which is basically our first frame. And our end frame is 3. You have to change that depending on what... Uh, what, uh, which, um, how many frames do you put? So, if you have four frames, then you'll put end four. Or if you have five, you make it five. So now if we press, oh, last thing we have to do is we have to be able to see our mouse cursor in the game engine. To do that, go in your properties tab here and go to the property, uh, the camera, little camera on the far left and go down, scroll down and go into the display tab this should have a box here that says mouse cursor just check it put a check on that and so basically all that does is shows your mouse cursor in the game engine now if we press play you can see the mouse cursor and you can go over and it gets bigger normally a game wouldn't just have one option so we're going to duplicate this a bit to do that you have it selected and hold shift and press d and move it down a bit so now we have all of ours um, normally in a game you probably wouldn't want to have play four times you'd want to change it or something so we're going to change this bottom one to exit just so I could show you real fast how to do it easily just press tab and A to deselect everything and then press B and you'll see these lines around my cursor and then you can click and drag a box over your uh, vertices of the word play and that's basically a box select so it selects everything inside there and press X and delete vertices now we have to add a new word to do that just press shift A like we did before and make a text this one we're gonna name exit And you move it down here. Oh, make sure that you're in frame 1, because or else the sizes will be way different. So move it down here. And we have to make it into a mesh. So press Alt-C. Mesh from text, and click that. Make it into a mesh. And then, while you have that, the word exit selected, hold Shift, and right-click the blue plane to select that too. So now both of them are selected. And press, while they're both selected still, press Control J. The word exit should automatically gain the color, the first material. And if you press play, it works like all the other ones. Now we're going to make an arrow that points towards the word. So, uh, basically the arrow will be, when we're, when we use the up and down arrows, it will move down and up. To do that, just press Shift A, Add Mesh Plane. We're going to move it here, press Tab, go into Edit Mode, press the B and box select these two edges, and do Alt M at center. You can see here it says Removed One Vertex. That is just to tell you that you removed one uh, because two of them joined together to form one, and those lines fall to the middle there. So now we have a neat little arrow. We're going to make this another color, so we're going to add a new material again. This one will be green. So now we have our green arrow. Okay, we're going to need to use a bit of Python text. Not that much, just a bit. This is one that I wrote myself. So go for wherever you saved it. 
So I'll, I'll put a link in the description and wherever you saved that text, just go there and press text, open text block and go to wherever you did it. So if it's in your documents or your desktop, mine's in a folder named scripts. And then I'm going to go to menu.py, that should be the name of it. And all the script is right here. For the plane that, of our arrow, we're going to add a few sensors. We're going to add a keyboard sensor. This one is going to be named up. It has to be up normally. You can see here that it says up over here. So it has to be up exactly like that. Make it the up arrow. And you can click this uh, dot dot dot, the one that's uh, higher, not lower. And make the frequency to 8. The dot 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 is uh, true level triggering. So it's basically when you hold the up button, it will continually send the message that you're pressing it instead of just a tap. And the frequency means it'll send it every 8 frames. You can make it a smaller or bigger number, it doesn't really matter. The bigger it is, the longer you hold, uh, the hold it, it'll take longer for it to move up. I'll show you when we test it out. And we've got to make a second sensor, it's going to be another keyboard sensor, it's going to be called down. Again. Blender uh, programming is uh, case sensitive, so it has to be named down exactly, no capitals. Make it the down arrow, and again, true level triggering, and 8 frames. Connect those into a Python controller. Both of them to the same one, and make this menu.py, so that is the name here. Add a new game property, name it menu. This one has to be also exactly written menu, no cap, capitals, and change it from a float to an integer, and set this to 1. The last thing that we have to do is add another sensor. This one is going to be an always sensor. An always sensor always goes on, just like its name. So you don't have to press anything, or so it'll always move, or anything. Last thing we have to do is add actuator. F curve actuator, change this from play to property, and change this property to menu. So that basically says the F curve, so basically your um, keys that we're going to insert later will be equivalent to the um, property menu. So if menu is at 1, then it'll, your arrow will be at frame 1. If menu is at 2, then you will be at frame 2. If menu is at 3, and so on and so forth. So connect those two up so it always will be that. Okay, final thing we must do is make the location of our arrow. So frame, make sure you get frame 1 again. Press I. This time we're not going to click scaling. This time we're going to hit location. So that takes the keyframe of the location. So instead of how big it is, it will say, oh, it's at that location exactly. And then move it down. Go into frame 2. Move it down. Press I, location, frame 3, move it down, I, location, and frame 4, move it down, I, location. So now if you go through those with your arrow keys, see it goes all the way down there, and you can see that perfectly. So now all we have to do is test it, so press P to play, and you'll see that the sizing up works, and if you hold it, then it goes fast, but not too fast. And yep. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be a second part to this tutorial. I'm, I'll make it up as soon as I can. One other thing that I should note is this is only for four options. The script that I wrote uh, only lets you uh, do up to four frames, up to four, um, up to four keys and stuff. So. If you have five, it won't work, or if you have three, it won't work either. So if you're gonna, if you want to make more or less, just send me a message, and I can explain it to you, or I might make a video on it. I'm not sure yet. But yeah. Uh. See. Bye.